The Steel Timber Sports National Championships 2019. We are back here in Milwaukee and we are going through the semifinals. We're watching Pool A Action 10 athletes who will be reduced to five to pass on to the championship. Leader in points now, Nate Hodges, the man on the bubble, position number five. Cassidy Shear and Tommy Sanders and Kevin Holtz with you. And Kevin, now we're going to look at the standing block in the single buck, two of the most recognizable, really, skill sets in the whole business of lumberjack sports. Good on Nate Hodges. He is just running away with it. He is already got through two of the more technical skilled and I think he's going to maybe even fatten his lead in these next two. Standing block is a fairly straightforward event that a lot of these guys run into in all their local divisions as is single block. Well Kevin it goes without saying all these guys can cut a good standing block. Who are going to be the standouts in your mind? I'm looking at position four and five Jason Lentz and Cassidy Shear. This is going to be a great opportunity for them to grab some steel championship points. Mike Slingerland, Nathan Waterfield. In my mind, I put those guys in the underhand cutter camp. Jason Lentz, Cassidy Shear, I think they're gonna grab some more points. To tell us more about the next event, here's Dave Jewett with the Duluth Trading Company Discipline Review. Athlete versus tree, their goal, sever a 12 inch log. This is a standing block. The standing block mimics felling a tree with a racing ax as fast as possible. When the gun fires, you have to chop halfway through the log. In order to do that, know the log, be familiar with your equipment. The best athletes will put 10 to 12 hits in the front. The elite athlete will put six to seven hits in the front. The turn is a four step motion with speed, minding the chips on the ground which you've removed. Run to the back side with no hesitation. Open up the back with confidence, making a split decision. Do I take another chip for safety? Or do I have the confidence to drive this log off? Here we go, heat one, stand one from Salem, Oregon, Cody Laban. And from Troy, New York, Mike Slingerland. The professor did a whole lot of good for himself in that stock saw run, banking some pretty serious steel championship points. Yeah, I knew it was a good run. I, like, I got to the wood quick, it was pretty smooth. Uh, really good switch. I just tried to listen to the motor and keep it in the power band, you know? So I did a lot of training for this, and. Stock saw is a critical event for me. Boy, right, Cody the Bond, he is like Mr. On the Go. He is right there on all of these starts. Just it, what's what you got to do? You got to push that button. At the same time, don't let Rich uh, catch you pushing that button a little too quick. Mike Slayer has got a bit of cuttable wood in the front side of that block. He's looking to break. There it is. Takes the heat somewhere around 23, 24 seconds. Watching that cut from Mike Slayer, the open one and one. Put on a good show on the front side of that block. Left a lot of firewood hanging. I questioned that decision. There's his last up hit on the front side, far wood. A tremendous amount of wood hanging out there. You'd say that's uh, taken out a loan on the front side of the block and you gotta pay it back on the back of the block. And here it comes, that loan payment. Breaks what is now the far side of the block towards us, the camera, and then leans off that big hunk of wood he had left standing. Got the job done. So holding down the lead right now is Mike Slinger on that official time, 23.62. Cody LeBon a time of 28.29. Ready now for the next heat of the standing block chop. It'll be Calvin Willard, the forester and logger from Vermont, facing off against the young man who started his chopping and sawing career at the University of Tennessee, Adam Lethko. My name is Adam Lethko. I'm from Maryville, Tennessee. There it is, Adam Lethko. I started competing at the University of Tennessee back in 2008, 2009, 2010. I was in the Steel Collegiate Series. There at the time, it was kind of hard being in the Southern Collegiate Series. Like there wasn't the help down here that much to get the training in or the knowledge wasn't here. Lumberjack show opened up up there, brought a couple more competitors down here. Gave me a chance to work with some of those guys. When I graduated college and they offered me a job for the summer, I was like, well, shoot, sounds fun to me. And, and about the same time, hired uh, Matt Slingland to come work for us, and he said I could one day be in the series. And I said, like, shoot, I don't believe that, but you know, I'll set the goal, we'll start working at it. And it took me three and a half years from that point to get accepted into the series. We're three years after that now, so that's six years ago, and my way to Milwaukee came for the second time, so I'm pretty happy about that. 
It looks like stand number two in Adam Lefko. There you go, Adam Lefko, uh, overall championship points uh, down there in eighth place right now. A little bit unexpected, a little bit farther down. You expect Adam Lefko to be at this point right now. Calvin Willard has uh, found the going a little bit tough. He's in ninth place coming in, so two guys who need to throw down a good cut here and hope for a higher finish through their point standings after three. We are in the third discipline, our six here. Well, Tommy, I just like watching both these guys cut a standing block. They both present the act so well. They both, uh, especially Calvin Willard, just extends, rakes across the ground. Boy, Adam Lethko really tight on that go as well. Willard, though, spraying the hits around. The grain on that block just not really holding up like you'd think it would. And he, he sort of glides one up on an up hit. Really tight. Oh, he's going to be Calvin Willard. Willard. One hit behind his left go. You see, neither one of those guys, just by their expression, they're not pleased with that cut. They don't like how the axes made it with that block. Calvin Willard's official time good enough to take over first place at 22.33. Left go with 23.17. He's in second. Calvin Willard of Vermont set the time of 22.34. He's got two more heats remaining. Will it stand up? This and more when we return to Milwaukee for the Steel Timber Sports National Championships. Unbelievable. Steel Timber Sports on CBS Sports Network is sponsored by Steel, maker of a full line of gasoline and battery powered handheld outdoor power equipment. Find yours at SteelUSA.com. By Duluth Trading Company, the official workwear sponsor of Steel Timber Sports and by John Deere, nothing runs like a deer. Steel Timber Sports coming to you from German Fest on the Summerfest grounds here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. The U.S. Championship is underway. We're in discipline three of six. The standing block chop. Calvin Willard has set the time to beat at 22.34 with only two heats remaining. 22.34 is the time to beat, and I guarantee it will fall in this next seat on stand number one from Canandaigua, New York, Matthew Bolton. And watch the speed of this guy again. Here comes Nate Hodges. Nate Hodges, your points leader after two events. We're in the third discipline right now, and I just kicked his day off in fine style with a victory in the springboard chop going up against Matthew Bolton. Standing block well. That's when I had to pick and choose between springboard and standing. You know, standing right there. I love it. It's very similar to springboard. I just get to be on the ground the whole time. Definitely my second favorite event. Same thing. I'm going to be full throttle on the standing block today. I look forward to cutting it. I can't wait. I'm, I'm just pumped. Well, I don't know if Nate's got a fan club yet, but I'd like to sign up. I mean, yeah, he's, a, he's an impressive guy. I'm telling you. And, and here we go. Here's that speed that we saw in the spring, springboard event. Normally with speed comes poor accuracy, but for the most part, he's putting the hits where they need to go. Time to beat 22-3-3. Yeah, that's oh, going to yeah. beat that oh, yeah. by a wide margin. 22, who cares? <laughs> Nate Hodges. Continues to impress here. Nate Hodges and that speed is what catches your eye. Yeah, watch this as he opens this up. One and one, clears a chip, starts going after those corners, and he's putting the axe exactly where he needs to be. The far side there, he stepped that one hit down, but other than that, he was right exactly where he needed to be. And that accuracy just pays back in dividends. If you're not just spraying that block with hits, if you're putting them where they need to go, each one of those hits that goes where it has to go saves you that correction hit, saves you a second, not to mention that blistering swing speed. And Nate, you know, you turned at the eight second point. How was the cut to you? It looked fast from over here. Well, once again, you know, being on the West Coast, this, this, this is a little bit softer than what we're used to out there. So I gotta say my ax was going to the handle, so. Um, it was a little different what I'm used to, but hey, it was a good cut. Good job. There you go. He's putting it right to the hand. That's Nate Hodges. Well, I'm sure we'll be talking to this guy again. That's our new leader in the standing block. How about this official time? 15.67 for Nate Hodges. That is just unbelievable. I know them boys coming up can do better. I, you know, my ax was hanging, but as hard as they hit, I wouldn't be surprised if they send the ax in deep and get hung up too. 
Seconds from Diana, West Virginia, Jason Lentz. And originally from Hayward, Wisconsin, big round of applause for Cassidy Shear. These two are seeds one and two in the standing block chop, but they got a number to shoot for, and it's a good one, a 15-6-7 from Nate Hodges. Yeah, it just got real. We went from the, the low 20s, 22, 22-3 uh, from Calvin Willard, and the bottom just fell out of these times. Cassidy Shear comes into the standing block again in fifth place. So that's in fourth place. Both these guys just tearing to the front side of this log. Cassidy Shear has a, oh, a big slip, though, from Jason Lentz. Put his foot on a chip as he went to scoot around the back side of that log. It really disrupts his motion. Cassidy Shear, there it is! I just say Cassidy Shear at the front of that block, opening up that near driver on the back side. He makes that cut, severs the fibers, the top of the block rotates. That just opens the window just that much more that he can go after that far wood. An official time of 17.40 for Cassidy Shear. So if it's uh, anywhere near than that, it could, uh, looks like a, a second discipline win out of three for Nate Hodges. There you see on the far side of your screen, Jason Lentz put his foot on a huge slab of wood. That did not give him the traction. That robbed the horsepower, really threw him off. But watch this finish from Cassidy Shear. He just reaches back, hands together, rakes it around, finds that last fiber. It's a tough heat right there. And neither one of them, it looks like, will take down Nate Hodges. I mean, I'm happy. I'm, I'm doing what I what I do, you know. I got my other events coming. I think about those. And, you know, like the next three, I'm not going to... I'm not going to doubt myself, but the, out of the three events, I'd say Hot Saw is going to be my strongest. Nate Hodges still holding down the top spot with three disciplines remaining. Nate Hodges around at an eight-second time. He's taken the big one out, and he's decided to drive it already, and he's done it. Single ball coming up next. This is the Steel Timber Sports National Championship. Welcome back to Milwaukee. 10 of the top 20 lumberjack performers are underway here. The guys got started with the springboard chop. And we have seen some ups and downs from the start here, Kevin. Yeah, very much ups and downs. Adam Lefko was out there trying to break his own record and just couldn't quite put it together, but it's all about that guy right there. Nate Hodges just running away with so many disciplines, continuing his dominance as he worked his way into that standing block event. Swing speed, swing speed, swing speed. The three key elements that uh, came down to that win in the standing block. Well, we're back with the saws, the old misery whip. Uh, the single buck is coming up next. This next event is the single buck, and on stand number one for Maryville, Tennessee, Adam Lethko. And give it up for Calvin Willard. No gas required, just pure endurance, elbow grease, and a misery whip. This is the single buck. It's a six to six and a half foot saw. It's a science to make these saws. It's a science to run these saws. On go, you want to go full speed on a push or a pull stroke using the entire saw. It's a two to three peg and raker. The pegs are the teeth. They cut the wood. The rakers clean the wood. You want to use the full saw, cutting on the forward stroke, cutting on the back stroke, using every muscle in your body from your toes all the way up to your head, driving the saw with confidence through the entire log. If you deviate from your technique, you can dive a raker into the wood, bringing you to a sudden stop. Then you have to regain that momentum, losing time. Willard versus Lesko. Typically, the two Atahi racing saws are more aggressive. You lean on them, you hoss your way through. The Mercier is a style and technique saw. Calvin Willard brought the technique on that one. He made it through that treacherous zone at the bottom. It's very deceptive. You get into the, the wide part of that log, the middle part of the log, the weight of those teeth is distributed across the largest section of that wood. That's where you see a lot of the miscues happen in this discipline. I see, I know he could cut better, but I know you're behind in points right there. Still a good time. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Uh, I just need to cut a little more near wood on my pull strokes. And I might have been able to make up a little time there, but uh, I'm happy with that cut. Official time for Calvin Willard, an 11.25, 12.62 for Adam Lefko. Trying to be a little disappointed with that one. 
number one in points versus number 10 in points. And Nate Hodges has put on quite the show today. Again, if you're just picking up with us, uh, three disciplines in the book so far, and Nate Hodges has owned two of them. Not taking anything away from myself, but this isn't my strongest event. So, but I've been working hard on it, but it's a tricky one. I know what to do. I just got to make it happen. Steel Timber Sports Championship Athletes first ready. year for Nate Stand Hodges. Yeah, this is an all West Coast lineup Three, here. Two, one, go. Big, huge bowl stroke from Nate Hodges right off the top. Oops. Oh, Ooh, hang, hang up. up though. Lebon is going to take it. There's some serious redemption for Cody Lebon. He has struggled a lot today. Cody Lebon on the far side with a lot of angle, a lot of slope. Nate Hodges looking a lot flatter. I feel like Nate Hodges has a lot more to give in his body. If he was at full extension, back off that block a little more, his arms would be locked out, they'd be straight, and when he went to pull with his legs and his body, those arms are now just acting as a chain or a cable to drag and get that saw moving. Well, the official time for Cody Laban, an 11.85. Hodges with a 12.56 second and fourth, respectively. Not good enough to beat Calvin Willard's time of 11.25 with only two heats remaining. Will that time hold up? We'll find out when we return. Beautiful cuts. Give it one more time for Cody Laban. Steel Timber Sports on CBS Sports Network is sponsored by Steel, maker of a full line of gasoline and battery-powered handheld outdoor power equipment. Find yours at SteelUSA.com. By Duluth Trading Company, the official workwear sponsor of Steel Timber Sports. And by John Deere, nothing runs like a deer. Welcome back to Milwaukee. We are here at German Fest on the Summerfest grounds. The U.S. Championship is underway. We're in discipline four of six, the single bar. Calvin Willard has set the time to beat at 11.25 with only two heats remaining. Here we go in this heat. Jason Lintz is going up against Nathan Waterfield. Nathan Waterfield, now the guy on top of the bubble in fifth place, coming into single buck competition. Jason Lentz in third place. He's looking pretty solid as it stands now, but uh, we've got the results of the single buck. We've got the underhand and the hot saw yet to go. Jason Lentz, just epic power on stand number one. Waterfield oh. needs to counter with, with, with technique. Oh, what a race! Ooh. That was Jason Lentz's run to lose. And that one hang up may have just cost him that race. Sure looked a little bit like Nathan Waterfield. I'm not 100% on that, but that was, the, that was the first impression I got. And things were looking really good here. Drawing off big amounts of wood on the pole stroke. And then you saw that stroke came back, handle came up in the air, and that really put a lot of pressure on the far side of the wood, a ton of weight on a very small number of teeth. And that's what causes that hang up. Waterfield, look at the stretch. Look at how far he's moved out. His back foot block actually failed him. He's stepped way back out. He's off of it. Great cut from Waterfield. I think he just fought his way back to the top on that one. I'm really excited. I made a last minute decision. I used my head, my, my experience. I switched saws, like literally as they were calling me to, to go into the room out back. And I'm, I'm super happy that I did it because I, I was I was nervous that I was going to hang the other saw because it was a saw I wasn't familiar with. So I'm very happy with myself that I made that switch and I just ran my saw and I did it justice. So yeah, not bad. So Nathan Waterfield's official time an 11.76. That's good enough for second place so far. That early cut in the first heat from Calvin Willard still holding on as the top figure. Cassidy Shear is our fastest qualifier throughout all the qualifying events in the country. Mike Slingerland is going to be our number two seed in this competition. And the time to beat still, as we just mentioned, 11.24 from Calvin Willard. Cassidy Shear has moved up into second place in points after the standing block. Still pretty good deficit, at least to start this single buck behind Athlete Nate ready. Hodges. Stand to your timber. Three, two, one, go. Cassidy Shear, our number one qualifier in the entire country, coming in against one of our oldest, wiliest, and most technical single buckers, Matt. Oh, Mike Slayland! Mike wow. Slayland takes down Cassidy oh Shear! What an upset! Unbelievable! 
the professor, obviously where he needed to be. He was in the last heat. He's seated with Cassidy Shear. Mike Slingerland taking the victory in that performance is our John Deere power play. Nothing runs like a deer. Let's take a look at this side by side. The professor doing everything right down through this block. A little chatter at the top. This was all Cassidy Shear though, down through the middle of the log. Huge noodles. And then somewhere here at the bottom, there it is. An aggressive angle change on the pull stroke. Hangs up on the near wood. Big smiles from that man, Mike Slingerland taking Cassidy Shear in that last heat. Well, I knew I had to leave it all out there on the deck today. There was no chance in uh, playing it safe. Once Calvin Willard cut that 11.2, just an amazing time, I knew I had to get everything into it. There's our Steel Timber Sports overall points. After four disciplines, it's still Nate Hodges. But Cassidy Shear has certainly made up some points on him. Only one point behind at 29. And only two points behind him, Mike Slingerland, Jason Lentz, and Nathan Waterfield. At this point, those would be the five who move on. But we have two more disciplines to decide before we do know who moves on to compete for the championship. And we will have that for you when we see you next time here in Milwaukee. Mike Slingerland, absolutely flawless.